Hey GC, I'm Abby Forsyth here with Ashton Saxon. Fancy Farm Recreation Association baseball and softball signups for the 2015 season will be on February 15th, February 22nd, and March 1st. Signups will be from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Fancy Farm Senior Center building located on State Route 339 in Fancy Farm. Please contact Mark Hobbs with any questions at 270-705-1906. There will be ACT prep sessions after school today and Thursday with Ms. Moore. The sessions will start at 3.15 in room C26. Today's session will cover English and Thursday's session will cover reading. For all you runners, joggers, and sprinters, this Thursday, February 5th, there will be an informational track meeting as well as sign-ups during SSR in room E41. Tennis physicals will be today after school with Ms. Riley in the nurse's office. Please see Ms. Burchett in B18 for a physical form as these need to be filled out ahead of time. Also, seniors, please send individual senior or personality photos to Morgan Cubany at her school email for a project that will be presented at graduation. During the break, Brianna Tibbs has your sports action. Chris Noe and Doretta Puckett share a behind-the-scenes look at the De DECA Prom Fashion Show. Hey GC Nation, tonight our basketball teams hit the road for a big regional rivalry matchup facing Paducah Tillman. The girls game puts two of the first region's top teams against each other for the second time this season. The Lady Tornadoes come into tonight 20-2, while our Lady Eagles are 18-3 on the season. The Lady Eagles won the first matchup 60-43 at the Eagles Nest. Tonight's game tips off at 6. The boys are looking to bounce back after a hard-fought lo hard loss this sat past Saturday against McCracken County. The 13-10 Eagles played the Tornadoes earlier in the season and lost a close matchup 61-63. Tillman brings a 15-6 record to, into tonight's game. Tip-off is at set for 7:30. So head to Paducah Tillman and get loud. That's all for today's Eagles Sports Action. For GCTV, I'm Ryan Tibbs. The theme for this year's prom fashion show is Alice in Wonderland and the two fashion marketing classes uh, kind of put their heads together and thought that Alice in Wonderland would be a really um, neat theme and lend itself to a lot of creativity. And uh, so we're looking forward to having the Queen of Hearts and the Mad Hatter as the MCs for this year's prom fashion show. Welcome to Wonderland. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad, or you wouldn't have been if you didn't fall down the rabbit hole into a world where crazy, wonderful things happen every day. Pattern is she will definitely be turning heads this season. You know, Red Queen, you probably know how much there's a raven in that dress. Models um, for the fashion show have to be members of DECA and they try out and we select six um, models and four of the girls are taller girls because the dresses are just meant for taller girls and we have two um, shorter girls who model the shorter dresses. Okay, I'm here with Chastity Moore, who was the Red Queen. What was it like being here? Well, um, I really like it because I get to behead a lot of people. I get to yell, which, I mean, I like. And, I, I mean, they didn't really allow me to say a lot of profanities this time, but I'm working on it for next time. I'm Chris Noe here with Tamia Fair and Talis Cherry. What was it like being a model and an escort for the DECA Prom Fashion Show? 
It was actually really fun. I mean, at first I was kind of scared and really nervous, but then when we started to walk, like I was just having a great time. Um, I thought it was a good experience for all of us. Like as going out through our senior year, you know, all of us just hanging out with each other and just having fun and just us being us and that's the great thing about it. Or off the grid. Which dress was your favorite that you modeled? I have to say the ivory lace one was my favorite. I just felt really comfortable in it. Okay. The girl is taking the red roses that the white cars, the cars painted and give it to her. These were hand painted by my cars. I said that. <laughs> and then the gentleman that fall down the rabbit hole eat them. <laughs> What was it like working with the Mad Hatter as the MC? Oh, he got on my nerves. Greg, I mean, he's a good person, I guess, but really, I don't think he's all there. fall in the dresses oh yeah especially the first one because like underneath it it was hot pink like five layers of like tulle everywhere and I was like oh my god I'm tripping yeah I almost fell <laughs> did you think you were gonna fall leading her up and down the steps no I thought she was gonna make me fall by pulling me down the steps and there was one time where she did end up tripping when we were walking off and I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> Um, the prom show has been going on for several years. Um, Miss Stanfield and her fashion marketing uh, class actually started it, and over the year it's changed a little bit. We've added more um, media, um, just kind of keeping with the times. <laughs> Good afternoon, GC. Today is going to be sunny with a high of 44 and a low of 33. Tomorrow is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 21. Thursday is going to be sunny with a high of 31 and a low of 23. For GC TV, I'm Toy Wiggins. Any African American junior who is interested in attending Berea College should see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office for information regarding scholarship opportunities. These juniors who rank in the top 20% in their class and have a 3.3 GPA or higher are eligible to apply for the Carter G. Woodson Legacy Award. Applicants must have demonstrated financial need. Jackson Purchase Energy is offering an all expense pay trip to Washington, D.C. for juniors whose family receives services from them. For more information and application procedures, visit the website at www.jpenergy.com slash youth tour. Information can also be found on the GC Guidance webpage under announcements. 
The Spanish Club will be watching the movie The Book of Life in Miss Thompson's room at 4 o'clock this, this Thursday. Refreshments will be available. Guest fee will be $1. The all-girl cheerleading squad is hosting a cheer clinic this Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The registration fee is $35, which includes a t-shirt. The clinic is for grades preschool to 6, so tell your siblings, cousins, and nieces. That's all we have for today, guys. For GCTV, I'm Ashton Saxon. And I'm Abby Forsyth. Stay classy, GC.